the 2001 men's golf team. In 94, the university moved from the NAIA ranks and joined the NCAA. Didn't take long for Coach Fell to turn the program into a national contender. In the previous three seasons, UWF had top five finishes each year, but this team will go down as the one that broke the glass ceiling and won the first national championship at the NCAA level for the university. You, you want to come up? <laughs> you can do this. Um, they got hot at the right time, winning the Gulf South Championship and the NCAA Regional Tournament before taking the national title by a comfortable 15 strokes. All five members of the NCAA team were named to various All-America teams. The members of the title-winning team were Joe Christensen, Brian Clark, Lee Gauthier, Stuart Manley, and Kevin Work. But first, let me welcome to the podium the architect of that 2001 group and current head coach of the number one team in the country, Steve Fell, to speak on the players' behalf. Brian Clark. To win a national championship, you have to have a lot of support, and that's certainly what we have here. And there's a few people that I need to thank. Um, first, first of all, I wouldn't be standing here if I weren't hired by Mr. Berg, and uh, there was nothing more that I wanted to do than win a national championship for you to prove that you hired the right guy. Uh, I need to. I want to. Uh, I also would not be standing here if it weren't for my dad and mom that supported me through my golf career and my dad teaching me and uh, getting me involved in this great game. Um, I also want to thank my bride and my girls, uh, Faith and Hope are here, and my other daughters out in California, but uh, you know, they, they sacrifice a lot when I'm traveling and uh, you know, the time that I'm, I'm miss when I'm away. Uh, so thank you. Um, also, all the support that our athletic administration and staff uh, gives us, we, we couldn't do it without you guys. Uh, you know, from, from the compliance to the athletic training to uh, Delma, I don't know if Delma's here, but she usually tells me that I have no money. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, the, there's a lot of people that help us to uh, do what we do. Um, I want to thank the Clarks, our team mom, Ms. Clark, and Mr. Clark, and uh, the Works aren't here, but they were also a big supporter of us. Um, look, looking from the outside, as Tommy just read, it sounded like we just waltzed right on through and won a national championship. However, it wasn't that easy. Uh, we had some adversity to overcome. Uh, we had just won the conference by 19 shots. Uh, next day, I'm turning in my travel, and I walk out into the hallway, and I got greeted by my player, Alex, uh, who was my number three player at the time. And he says, can I talk to you? And I said, sure. So we go into the gym, and I uh, talk with him, and he says, you know, I'd like to have a release because I want to transfer to a Division One school. And I'll give you the PG version of that. <laughs> and it went something like, I'll have your release tomorrow, but you will not play in regionals or nationals if we make it there. And you might as well book your flight now because you're out of here. Uh, it was a little more intense than that, but... Uh, <laughs> um, so... Uh, next, so I said, Joe, you're in. Uh, so Joe took, took Alex's spot. Uh, so we head off to regionals and, and won regionals. And Joe uh, basically kind of, I think, helped the team chemistry to get better. Uh, I think we played more like a team with Joe in there, AKA the glue. He kind of helped put us back together. We were a little bit broken up at the time. Um, 
So off we went to, to nationals. Uh, and uh, let me set the stage for you a little bit there. Uh, Florida Southern had been the dominant team in the nation at the time. They had won uh, five of the last six national championships, and they had won them pretty impressively by 87 shots. 61 shots the two years prior to 2001. So I was determined we will beat them. I don't care what we have to do, we will beat them. Um, so first round, we get out there and we struggled, got off to a bad start. Uh, so looking up the scoreboard, of course, who's leading? Florida Southern. So we're uh, seven shots behind Florida Southern after the first round. And so I was like, <laughs> let's get this train back on the track. <laughs> um, so the next, next day we came out and played very well. Shot uh, five under 270. Now we're playing in cold, it's this is Michigan. So it's cold, windy, rainy, crappy weather pretty much. <laughs> Uh, so we, we got to one shot back after the second round and then probably played one of the best rounds in the third round that I've seen in my 22 years of coaching. Shot uh, 279 again and it was pretty bad weather that day and went from one shot back to 16 shots ahead. So that just shows you how, you know, good that round was. And then of course we just had a very solid round the, the last day to win by 15 shots. And um, I just can't tell you how great of a feeling that was. I was so happy for the guys. Um, they had worked so hard to, uh, to win a national championship and, you know, I couldn't be more proud of them. You know, I, there's a saying, you can't win the Kentucky Derby with a mule. Well, I had a bunch of thoroughbreds on my team, so. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's hard to put into words what it feels like, but I'm just happy for the, so happy for the guys to be inducted into this Hall of Fame. You deserve it. And, you know, I'm just happy that we can bring a national championship back to Pensacola and share that trophy. So come on up, guys. Steve, that's, that's pretty special. Um, Joe Bartlinski, I must say, for Kevin and I, it never gets old. Uh, I'm sure this is probably our last. Um, but with that, you know, I'm speaking on behalf of the team. It was pretty tough to get put together uh, a speech. Inducted a few years ago, it was pretty easy. Being myself, I could talk about I, and it was a lot easier. Talking about these guys, as Steve said, um, you know, it was, uh, it was a pretty special group. I was uh, talking to my dad today, reminiscing, and uh, we were out driving, and uh, I said, you know, there was no standout guy on this team. There wasn't. There was, if you look back, one guy won all year, Stuart Manley, the Golf South Conference Championship. It's pretty impressive. One guy wins a tournament, and we win national championship. So it is the epitome of team. Uh, so on behalf of the entire 2001, 
team, we would like to thank President Dr. Benz, Dave Scott, the entire Athletics Administration, the committee, and those who supported us as part of the University of West Florida family. Before I move on, I'd love to talk about this picture real quick. <laughs> it's horrendous. <laughs> Sorry, and as you guys will see tomorrow in the athletic, uh, Argonne Athletic Club, those national championship pictures are pretty special, and ours look pretty, pretty bleak sitting next to them. <laughs> so, uh, so, so the last round finished. Uh, there was a rain delay. Uh, Kevin was in a playoff. Uh, which means uh, we didn't get done until late, late evening. Well, I guess it wasn't as important to, to Kevin as it was to us. But uh, the NCAA photographer uh, uh, bailed. Yeah, yeah, you heard right. Yeah, they, they left. So, uh, so that's why this picture is uh, truly an original. Uh, we returned from nationals uh, and took a a photo in front of the green screen as you see. But again, uh, those are the tales you get to tell when you're the first in UWS history. Uh, for me, this is an unbelievable honor to be part of this team. Unfortunately, not all of us could make it, but it's not without trying. We all want to pass along our appreciation and the opportunity afforded to us as part of the UF, UWF golf program. I will say that we owe the majority of this honor to Steve. Uh, and that's putting it lightly. He put together a group, a group that worked well together and had the same goals. Earlier this, this week, I was looking back at our, our year uh, in 2001 and didn't even realize that we won six events, which included the postseason sweep. This team did, didn't have a standout star, as I said. We were really good from the top to the bottom, and that is what won us that championship. Yes, the five players that are being recognized here tonight are the five that played and won the national championship. But I will say we need to recognize our other teammates, Steve Ginchy, Bo James, and Alex Smith. We also wanted to say thanks to Steve for investing in all of us, both on and off the golf course. He is a great coach and friend. Kevin Joe, I'm glad we kept in touch, and this event brought us back to our alma mater. Everyone on this team are like brothers to me, and I will never forget the year we won the national championship for the rest of my life. Thank you, and go Argos. Go Argos.